Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio and thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I work in technology and I absolutely love it and hopefully you love technology too. In this video, we're going to be talking about IT professions and what IT professions get paid the most. Do subscribe below, clicking on the button on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Hey, so before we do get into the video, I want to point you to this survey that was just recently done asking a whole bunch of technical professionals what skills an Azure or a cloud professional should possess. This survey was done by a company called Nigel Frank International. In my description below, I've got a link directly to this survey. So they were essentially asked, uh, what skills do these people need to possess? So the top results were DevOps, understanding DevOps, the framework of DevOps, development and operations, and cloud migration. Closely behind that was virtual machines, storage and security, all technologies that are integral for you in your IT career. So what IT jobs get paid the most? This could change next year, the year after, things can change. This is as of right now, this is generally where we're at. So we're gonna work from the bottom and sort of work our way up. So we're gonna be breaking this down into four different categories as well. The first category will be all around IT support and operations. The second category is development. The third category is architecture. And the fourth category is management. So let's look at IT support first. If we start off with IT support, you're looking at your level one, help desk people and service desk people first. You then move into a level two help desk or support or support analyst, desktop analyst, desktop engineer. So starting at level one, you then get paid more when you move into level two. And then when you move into level three, you sort of get a little bit more of a broad spectrum of salary ranges. You're generally starting off with the administrators, such as your systems administrators, your network administrators, and potentially your storage administrators. From there, Pay scale, you move up into the engineers. Systems engineers, network engineers, cloud engineers, storage engineers, Linux engineers, etc., etc. And then above that, you go into a bit more specialized skills where you're gonna see your database admins and database engineers, your DBAs, and also your security engineers. The next is development. Development starts off with your .NET, and your Java developers, mobile developers, people who are working with mobile apps and even apps on the computers and things of that nature. Also UI, UX, so user interface people that work with front end portals and websites and things like that. That's generally in that same camp. From there, you then jump up to your senior people in the development space. So they've now moved up from a junior to a mid and they're now senior developers. But even above that are the people who are full stack, who've got a lot of development skills across multiple technologies are gonna be on the higher end of that pay scale. Then we've got architects. Now architects are on a league of their own and they're more very, very big picture, requiring skills across a lot of different technologies. So if we're comparing architects to the IT support, for example, if you remember on the high spectrum of the IT support where your engineers, your architects will generally start at about that, if not a little bit higher than your engineers from a salary perspective. So you start off with a network architect first, and then you can move up into the next pay grade into solutions architect, security architect, infrastructure architect, and then a step up from that is your full-blown enterprise architects. Now, now we move into management. Of course, management is in a realm of its own. You're now having to have management and leadership skills. You could also have technical skills, but you're now focused on big picture stuff and potentially managing people. We're starting off here with help desk and service desk managers. People who look after the help desk systems, the service desk systems, and the support systems. We then move into a SDM or a service delivery manager. This could be similar to the role that we just said, but you're now doing this across multiple businesses or delivering a service to a particular company or a pool of companies. You then move up into your more core IT manager positions. You've got IT managers, you've got infrastructure managers, you've got operations managers, you've got development managers. Now these are gonna be different depending on the company, depending on the size of the infrastructure or the IT management that they're responsible for. So it's all gonna vary, but generally all of these IT manager roles are gonna be sort of competing with each other 
in that salary range. You could also throw in the security manager in that pool of managers, but generally you may find that the security manager is just that little step higher in the pay grade. You then move into the chiefs, into the C-level executives. These are the people who are at the very top of the technology food chain. You've got a CIO, which is a chief information officer, a CTO, a chief technology officer, or a CISO, a chief information security officer. There can be other nuances of these chiefs in technology, but they're generally the three. Salary-wise, they're gonna be up and down. Some will be higher than others. I've worked in places where CTOs answer into a CIO, or a CISO reports into a CTO or a CIO. So some companies will have mixtures of all three, some will report into other chiefs as well, depends from a pay scale perspective, all three of them are gonna be paid fairly, fairly well, even as an entry level chief executive, but some will be paid a heck of a lot more. Now we'll just say, just to finish up, there are other roles that we didn't talk about, other sorts of IT technology types that we didn't talk about. You've got your data roles, such as your analysts, your engineers, your data scientists, those sort of roles. You've got your systems and your business analysts. And then you've also got all of your projects people, your project managers, your project coordinators, your PMO people. There are other ones that we can talk about on another future video. Hopefully you got a bit of a better understanding around where IT people sit and who gets paid the most. Thank you so much for spending the time, really appreciate it. Please do what you do on the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing, clicking on my face over there, and also click on some of those other videos so that you don't miss out on all things tech.